Today, I'm going to show you how a simple meat rub can spruce up everyday chicken leg quarters to a recipe your family will love. Good morning, everybody. My name is Deb from Just Do Something Homestead, and today I'm going to mix these five ingredients together to create a meat rub. This recipe calls for chicken leg quarters and I got the family pack. Make sure they are thawed completely. I store mine in the freezer and then you're gonna lay them out on a basic baking sheet. This family pack of chicken included four very large pieces of drumsticks with the thighs attached. And so it also included a lot of fat. I turned over each piece and I trimmed all the fat off that I could. I am going to mix the rub using these ingredients. I have hickory barbecue seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. The first ingredient is one tablespoon of garlic powder. We love garlic in this family. If you want a little less, that is fine. All of these spices can be cut back or increased uh, to whatever your family likes to eat. The remaining four ingredients are a half tablespoon of each. So that is barbecue seasoning, salt, pepper, and paprika. And I'm going to measure them and put them into my bowl. Stir it up good. And then I am going to use my hands and I'm going to rub it onto the chicken. Flip each one over and do the same on the back. Now remember, the back of this is the cut side, so be very careful that you do not get cut by a sharp bone. That is all for now. I am going to cover it with plastic wrap and stick it in the refrigerator until dinner. This recipe can be baked in the oven or cooked in your air fryer. It is about a half hour until our dinner and I just pulled the chicken quarters out of the refrigerator. I made a rub this morning and they have been sitting in the refrigerator for about eight hours. I have decided to air fry them and I'm able to put two of these leg quarters onto my air fryer basket at a time. You wanna put them skin down and you're gonna bake them at 400 for a total of 25 minutes. So after 15 minutes, I'm going to flip them over to cook the other side. That's what it looks like going in since it is just Jim and myself. We only need to have two cooked right now. The other two I will save for tomorrow. I am setting the function to air fry and the temperature to 400. And I said it's gonna be about 25 minutes, so I am gonna start it for about 15 and then turn the chicken over. You wanna keep a good eye on it in case it starts to cook too quickly. If you choose to bake them, you can simply put them on a baking sheet. I would line it with aluminum foil and bake it for a half hour. Here is the chicken directly from the air fryer and I gotta tell you, it is looking pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is check the temperature with my meat thermometer. So we're gonna see if this is done and it is now you want to cook your poultry to 165 degrees so it is cooked that was 25 minutes and we're gonna find out how it tastes now look at these two quarters this was in the oven 400 degrees the exact same time and they are not cooked they are not crunchy on the outside, um, what a huge difference. So by far, the air fryer wins. And there you have it. That is our air fried chicken with a meat rub and it is looking wonderful. Jim and I are gonna sit down right now and eat it, but this changes everything. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. 
Have a great night. Bye-bye.